Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another one of my videos on Basic Ali and today, guess what? I'm gonna show you how to get rid of moles. That's right, you know those little things that pop out? Some don't pop out, but you just can't stand them. They're just sitting there poking out, looking ugly, and then there's always that funny guy that says, hey man, you have a fly on your face. Yeah, funny guy, get out of here. Well, I'm gonna show you guys how to get rid of that unwanted mole. Now, I have a couple. I have one here, one here, one here, one right here, and then I have this one, which is the one I want to remove because it's literally talking to me. It's right next to the ear and it's big enough to where I can hear it talk. So I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna show you guys how to get rid of it. And it's pretty easy. It's a home remedy. All you really need is vinegar, apple cider vinegar, and Q-tips. A couple of Q-tips will do. Now, it's always good to have vinegar. It's only like a dollar to have one of these apple cider vinegar. The properties in this thing is great. It's going to help you not only to remove uh, moles, you could also remove warts, uh, skin tags, and many other things like that, fungus, bacteria that you have on your skin. This helps. So always good to have this, and it lasts forever, so you won't really like run out. Buy one and you'll have it for the whole year, unless you're cooking with it too, then you'll run out a lot faster. So what we're going to do is we're going to soak the Q-tip in the vinegar. Now you could go directly, yes, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna add a little bit on a little cap or something and soak this directly, just vinegar. Or if uh, you wanna be a little more cautious, you can get a little bit of water and lower it down and it'll have the same effect. It just won't be as aggressive. So you could do this in a couple of days or you could be like me and do it all today. That's right, we're gonna burn it off today. What do I expect to see or what do I expect? Well, it's gonna be a little bit painful on account that I'm burning something. I don't know what it feels like to burn a mole, but I know what it feels like to burn your skin and it does burn a little bit. Uh, not super bad, you can stand it. It's You just press it, you're gonna press the area, press it tightly with the uh, Q-tip with vinegar. You soak it every now and then and you add it on that same area again. Um, like I said, it does burn, so it may burn around if you're not careful. So what you can do, which I'm not going to be doing, but you can do this is grab a, um, a Band-Aid, cut a little circle into it, and place it around the area so only the uh, mole is popping out. That way, if you get any extra on the side, it's not going to burn the side of uh, the mole. You'll just get directly to the mole area. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this and uh, hopefully we'll get rid of those uh, unwanted moles. So uh, stick around and uh, let's get down to it. Let's remove it. All right, guess what time it is, guys? It's time to find out if apple cider is really effective. Remember I had that mole in the beginning of the video? It was big, it was it was big, it was loud, and it was proud. And it was literally yelling in my ear, giving me bad advice. So if I ever did anything bad, it was because that mole was uh, telling me to do it. But after using apple cider, guess what happened, guys? Boom, it's gone, that's right. Boom, it's gone. It was right there, it was big, and it's no longer there. Apple cider is effective. Apple cider is the man, or the woman, whatever the case. And uh, yes, it worked, it was effective. It took a week, took a little bit longer than I expected, only because I did not take into consideration that there's a scabbing process. And it takes a little bit for the scab to finally peel off. And today was the day I woke up and it ripped off by accident on my uh, covers, but it's gone. And uh, I have a little pink spot there, which will regain its normal color in, in its normal healing time, I don't know. But there's no mole, so yes, apple cider is effective, ladies and gentlemen, so be happy about it because you don't have to get surgery. You can remove it yourself. You don't have to have that ugly, unwanted mole anymore. You can get rid of it. Now, I still have a couple. I don't plan on removing all of them, like these right here, I don't really care. Those are all right. This one I might get rid of. But other than that, I'm cool. Uh, this one was the one that was bothering me. It was big and it was just out there, so it's finally gone. Now, this is what I did, guys. Um, I explained it in the beginning of the video what I was gonna do, but I'll tell you what I did. So I sat in my bedroom, I got a little bit of apple cider, vinegar, placed it in a cup, grabbed a Q-tip, I soaked the Q-tip, and I placed it directly over the uh, mole. And I sat there for an hour, two hours, and. During this time, I would soak it again. Every time I felt it was uh, getting dry, I would soak it again and place it over the mole again. And I did this for two nights. Uh, in those two nights, I noticed right away, starting the first night, I noticed that it was starting to shrink in size. 
and the texture felt differently. It was a little bit harder. It was like feeling like a scab pretty much. And uh, <clears throat> I continued to press on it for the two nights. And after that, it was just uh, letting the, uh, the uh, area do its regular scabbing process because it did burn a little bit of the skin. I was expecting that part. Now, what you could do to prevent it from actually burning around the mole is grab a, uh, a Band-Aid, cut a little circle the size of your mole, and put it on there. That way, you're only going to be pressing the, the Q-tip directly on the mole, and you won't affect the area around it. I didn't do this because I was lazy. I could have done this, and the, the scar would have been a lot smaller, but Either way, I'm happy. The mold is gone. Now I will be a good person because I won't have a mold telling me to do bad things. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. So enjoy. Get rid of those molds that you don't want. And uh, stick around. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Hit like on the video. Uh, place your comments if you have any questions about this uh, process. If you'd like me to test something else, if there's a remedy out there that you guys aren't sure about and you want somebody to be the guinea pig, let me know. I'll uh, look into it and I'll probably try it. I have nothing better to do. So that's pretty much it. I'm Basic Ali and I love you guys, most of you guys and uh, girls. Hit like on the video and subscribe because a lot of you guys aren't subscribed yet. So, uh, yes. Bye-bye.